Right, it's uh, Ollie Upsom here again, and uh, actually we're not in my lab. Um, we are actually in my kitchen, um, because um, I'm doing something that's a bit wet today. So, on my boat, um, it's got a very, very shallow build, so about 10 litres of water in there is a flood, essentially. It starts coming above the floorboards. <laughs> it's very difficult to get either the manual bilge pump suction line or the high-flow electric bilge pump down low enough to actually suck anything out without us having some sort of, you know, <laughs> fish tank at the bottom of the boat. So um, what I do in practice is I use an oil extraction tool to suck out the, the lower bits of water in there. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've got those two big pumps um, for emergencies, which touch wood. Um, I've never needed to use them for that, but they're there. Um, in particular, the high flow electric pump will pump out a lot of water and I have tested it by filling the bottom of the boat with a hose pipe and pumping it out. However, to get the uh, low level bilge water out, I have to lift the floorboards, faff about with the extraction tool, um, takes a long time, which means I don't want to do it very often, which means I've often got small amounts of water sitting around the bilge. So what I've decided to do is put in a low flow positive displacement suction pump in and around the bilge and that's going to be my second bilge pump basically. So you'll operate the main electric bilge pump by flicking a switch one way and the low flow suction pump by flicking the switch the other way. It has to be positive displacement because again I can't get a pump that needs priming like a centrifugal pump low enough um, in the water to actually suck anything out. So um, I'm using a diaphragm pump. So let's take a look at what we've got. Got this uh, 12 volt diaphragm pump here. It's a C-Flow. Um, bought it on, I think it was Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if anybody's that desperate. It was about 14 pounds. Um, it's a twin, twin flow diaphragm pump. So push, 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 pull, push, pull. It's got uh, 10 millimeter barbs on it. And this one actually has some functionality I don't need, which is a built-in pressure switch. So actually this pump is designed to run um, pressurized water systems on caravans and stuff like that. So essentially you would plumb the discharge up to your tap. Um, and then when you um, turn on the tap, the pressure valve, uh, pressure switch will operate and the pump will turn on. So for example, if I cover the discharge there, and turn it on, we'll see that um, the pressure switch has gone off because I'm preventing the water flow. If I take my finger off, it starts up and put my finger on it, it goes off. Now, all that's quite cool, um, but I don't really need that functionality um, for this. So I, if I just leave this pipe open, well, it'll actually go overboard, and um, the pump will turn on whenever you flip the switch. So uh, let's just see um, how it works. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect this 10 mil pipe, drain all the water out of it, connect it back on again. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to, would, would obviously help if I put the suction pump pipe in the water. Um, I'm actually going to lift it up quite high just so we can demonstrate that it does prime itself. Okay, so there we go. Happy with that. Switch it on, nothing much coming out from it, but you can see through the transparent pipe, it's priming, and there we go, water everywhere, pump working fine. Now, at this rate, at this rate, it'll pump about four litres a minute, so it should completely empty the bilge in under two minutes. Now, because um, it's going to be doing that at the flick of a switch, and I won't have to mess about moving the floorboards, it means I'm going to do it more often, which means I'm going to have a drier bilge. And as we know, a dry build is a happy build. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.